Okay, another thing that's going to happen under Thomas Jefferson's administration is going to be the Louisiana Purchase. So in around 1800, Spain's going to give Louisiana to France because, as we know, France is kind of going on an expansion campaign with the revolution there. Napoleon's taken over, and they've kind of lured Spain into handing them over Louisiana. Um, In 1803, James Monroe's going to be sent to offer Napoleon $10 million for New Orleans and western parts of Florida. So just New Orleans and western Florida because... It's very important that we have access to New Orleans because those farmers need to get their crops to market. So if you take them down the Mississippi River, inevitably you're going to run into New Orleans, as we've kind of seen with the Pinckney Treaty that was created earlier in 1795. Some of these things are falling apart since Spain no longer pretty much holds it. So Napoleon needed money, and basically he's fighting a war there and realized governing the Louisiana Territory was going to be too difficult because he couldn't even put down a rebellion in Haiti at this point. So eventually the French counteroffer to sell the entire Louisiana Territory for $15 million, which is approximately $0.04 cents per acre. This is going to be the largest land deal in U.S. history. Um, and generally speaking, when we gain more lands, it's been through conquering, um, through a peace treaty settlement, that kind of thing. So we're actually purchasing this at this point. And as you can see there in the darker green shaded area, it's going to almost double the size, more than double the size of the United States Territory um, with, with only a 50% uh, adjustment to that $10 million that we're actually buying or created um, just to get that territory down here. So if you see this region right in here, this is kind of what we wanted earlier in order to get our farmers' crops to market down the Mississippi River. Well, now we're purchasing all this land for $15 million, which is roughly four cents an acre. Okay, let's get down to the nitty-gritty, the importance. It doubled the size of the United States. Um, We're going to have more states falling in and increase the size, made U.S. look more important at this point, like almost like an empire. It removes the French threat from North America as well as some other countries, perhaps. It opens up the interior of North America to settlement, and it gives us control of the Mississippi River. But the problem here is being that Thomas Jefferson was a strict constructionist on the Constitution. His views were, if it wasn't said in there, it falls upon the states. The Constitution does not give the power to the president to buy new land. So basically he was going against his own beliefs, um, but he did this because he believed that it was best for the Western growth in the best interest of our country. It also kept foreigners from invading our country or surrounding us, so he could argue as commander-in-chief it was for our own security. But just kind of understand it doubles the size of our country um, and kind of goes against a little bit of his uh, recent beliefs and strict construction um, because it's not mentioned in the actual Constitution.